A hundred episodes of Marriage Boot Camp we're celebrating tonight. What is a lesson you learned from your time on the show that you still apply in your marriage? Our biggest lesson was that we need to make, even though we think it should be all about our kids and our family, we have to make time for our relationship and for ourselves to have a healthy family life. Yeah, very easy to get caught up in everyday life. Kids, 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 kids. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta stop, break, focus on each other. Well, you're having a parents' night out tonight. A little bachelor, like double, triple date. Yeah. There's a few couples here. Uh, can we talk about Bachelor Nation? I want to get into Caitlin Bristow just made some explosive comments about Mike Fleiss. What did she say? She called him a piece of ch who hates women. What's your response to that? I have no response because I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know him well at yeah, all. I mean, we only know what we read and can't judge people based upon that alone. So I, yeah. I can't. I got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing for you. Your face is kind of said it all. Kind of a shocking comment to make. She also said she felt like he blocked her from doing Dancing with the Stars, which I think is part of that. Did you ever have discussions for Dancing with the Stars? Never. You know, I love to dance, so that would be my dream to go on, but I never, ever had a discussion. It's interesting, though, why it was Trista was the only one, and then um, Melissa Rycroft, but Hannah. a lot of bachelorette, a lot of bachelors, but never, not a lot of bachelorettes, so I'm, I do wonder why. But hey, I mean, I don't know the answer to that. It's a question for the ABC execs. Yeah. We'll ask them one Good day. Idea. Uh, <laughs> Pilot Pete, injured while filming the I show. Heard. Did you guys ever have any experience like that where production had to like halt because something like that went down? I was sick one day on my birthday, so we had to just like shut down filming for one day, but that was it. But no, that's crazy. But I can see how that would happen. I mean, they're doing stunt like crazy things, like adventurous activities. Like I could see how something could go wrong. <laughs> Pretty uneventful for us. I mean, pulled I hammy I running. I don't know. I swear, me and my producer almost got went missing in a Taiwanese massage parlor. I am not joking. Like I was like, this is happening. Like we are gonna go missing. I have a, I have a different Taiwanese <laughs> massage parlor story than that, but like a human yeah. trafficking story and then something else. We'll we'll leave that there. Uh, the show has changed a lot, even since you guys were on it. The contestants are getting younger and younger, yeah. but we get we get married we get married older and older. Right. So, do you think the show should still end in a proposal? Well, I think I you are asking really like good questions, but they're very they're like backed with a lot of things that we can talk about that are like too hot for this microphone right now. <laughs> I think you have to do what feels right. Like for us, it felt right. I never okay. thought. Well, from at the time, it felt right. Looking back, like what the hell was I thinking, proposing on after two months? But but you got to do yeah. what feels right. I mean. No one forces you to do anything, so, so. But the age thing is really interesting because it just goes to show people are not settling down younger. They're they're just looking for something. So maybe the people are, that are going on the show now, it's like they don't have the same intentions that people did five years ago or ten Way years ago. When. Like things are changed. Like there's yeah. social media and like now there are platforms that people are kind of building their whole careers on. So it's like things are changing. Yeah. People leave these shows now with hundreds, if not millions, of followers. Yeah. What advice do you have people who are entering the world like that? It's different from how you guys left the show. Yeah, we left the show like we weren't even allowed to use social media for a while. I mean, I think just be true to yourself and, you know, I'm, I'm happy and I'm happy for all the people that can make things, you know, if it betters their life and it brings more experiences to them, I think that's great. I really do. Why not? Is there anything when you watch the show that you think they should change about the series or the format now that time has evolved? Why change something that's working? They have it, a form. It's working. Yeah, they, like, what do I know? Right? They do have a, a, a magic formula, it seems Everybody like. Everybody still watches. That's true. More and more people are watching yeah. than ever. Uh, Tyler Cameron is single again. Should he and Hannah give it a shot in the real world? Oh, he's the, the oh. He's the Gigi Hadid You know, I was really intrigued by their interaction on the after. I was like, oh, yeah, they're going to go on a date together. I'm into it. Yeah, I'm down. 
he's like, but the thing is, he's like kind of like sexy, cool, and she's a little more goofy. I don't know. Are they a match? I don't know. <laughs> he's crazy, sexy, cool. I don't know. It's like me. I'm sexy, cool. I'm sexy, <laughs> right? Yeah, you're just crazy.